Welcome, please join us as we prepare to depart LaGuardia Airport, New York, on the short flight to Boston's General Edward Lawrence Logan International Airport, Massachusetts. We'll take off from runway 31, make a right turn to the north, then join the Roebuck 3 arrival. First officer normally performs the engine starts. After starting the number 2 engine, the packs are reconfigured to supply fresh air to the cabin by closing the isolation valve and turning on the right pack. Once both engines are running, the packs are both turned to auto, the isolation valve is also set to auto, and the APU bleed valve is switched to the off position. It's a short taxi to runway 31, during which the flight attendants will require time to prepare the cabin. As anticipated, we're given a right turn to the north. Shortly afterwards, we're cleared direct merit, a point on the arrival. Since it's outside the scale of the navigational display, we can check we've selected merit by switching the display to plan mode and stepping through the points if necessary. Once executed, LNAV is selected and the display switched back to map mode.
After checking the weather at Boston, we can check the arrival and ensure crossing restrictions on the arrival are in the FMC. As covered in several videos, the briefing strip is used to set up for the approach. Today we are expecting the ILS approach to four right. The approach setup is normally done by the pilot monitoring. The approach setup is very structured, not only is the approach reviewed, but also the actions in the event of a missed approach. The runway length is checked against required length, and the likely taxi route reviewed, noting any runways to cross or hotspots. After being cleared to descend on the arrival, we set the lowest altitude on the arrival on the MCP and descend using VNAV. We can see a, a strong tailwind on the navigational display. To help VNAV to calculate a descent taking into account winds, we can add winds to the descent forecast page. A close look is kept on the total air temperature, shown on the upper DU, as engine heat may be required. Once the final approach fix is our next point, we select approach mode.
we can now set the mist approach altitude on the MCP. We've now arrived in Boston. We hope you enjoyed the flight, if you did please click like, and please subscribe to learn of our future videos, when we'll learn more about the 737. Thank you.